doing? Good, how are you doing? Speak to the opportunity this week to, to kind of get get more playing time, rotating in there. The game talked about just fun. You like your skill set to get you into the game more. Just, just how nice was that to, to, to get more of that time and be part of, of that scheme? Um, I, I feel like I bring a lot of value, um, whether, you know, it's at the dime position, safety position, uh, special teams. Like, um, I, I feel like that's just a part of my game. I'm a, I'm a young vet, as I would say, um, kind of in the middle of my career. And, um, you know, I feel like I have the smarts, I have the brains uh, to, like, you know, to contribute and, and be valuable uh, in this league. Um, and, you know, I'm just trying to take advantage of every opportunity that I get. Is that the best defensive performance in your opinion you guys put together this year? Nine, holding that team to 19 points, 116. Rushing yards, that's, that's pretty good. That's good news. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a great team we played. I mean, even uh, San Francisco and, and Green Bay, all great teams. Um, you know, I think the third game, you know, we, we started playing more together. Uh, getting used to playing with guys, you know, um, everyone's new still, you know, we're still in the whole regime of, you know, everyone learning to play with each other. But, um, um, it's, I mean, it speaks for itself. You know, we, we did a great job stopping the run. Um, I think Lamar had, they, I think they threw the ball so many times, um, more than they usually do. Um, and, um, you know, we, we tried our best and did what we can do to contain them. Um, but I personally think so far throughout the three games, this was our best defensive performance. What is, what, is, what is the value of experience and what does it pay off the most if there is a time? I, I just think that, you know, when when you've been in the game for a while and, I mean, football is football, you know, uh, just different variations, different concepts. Um, and when you see them over and over, um, the game kind of slows down for you. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, you know, I was, be, I was able to be a part of, you know, uh, three previous um, great, great organizations. Um, and, you know, um, I just feel like I, every year I just, you know, gained an extra nugget, learned more, learned more, had great vets in front of me that, you know, taught me great things. And um, now it's crazy that I'm going into year seven and that's me now, you know. Uh, so, and I feel like I bring that, um, that same, you know, value to, to this club. How important is that role in a secondary that's got a guy like A.J. Parker, a young guy, Bobby Price, a young guy who hasn't played a lot? You know, is that take on even more importance? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's extremely uh, significant. I mean, you got to be able, to, as safety, you got to be able to know what everyone's doing. You know, um, we got to be the quarterbacks of the defense. And I know usually the linebackers make a lot of the calls, but we got to know what's going on. Um, and we got to be able to run it, you know. So um, as a safety and the guys that I've been around through my, throughout my career, um, I've learned to, to take on that role of quarterback in the defense. Um, and I also think that's one of the huge assets, you know, to my game is that mentally, you know, I can, I can grasp a lot. Uh, and I also have the skill set to, to follow that. So, I mean, being undrafted, seventh year, you know, it, that doesn't happen by accident. Uh, so um, I, I feel like it's just when you have a great leaders, in each position, uh, you know, you're you're set up for success. Do you, you feel like a built on build on that a little bit, right? Quarterback the defense big theme this week is communication of the couple, you know, the coverage breakdowns last week. So how have you seen that play out here on the practice field with, with Dan and, and Aaron putting an emphasis on it and, and how important I think now that your role is expanding the way it is for you to, to kind of making sure that communication proliferates throughout the defense each year. Yeah, this week, you know, our one of our keys to victory, you know, we go each week and uh, the main thing on defense is communication. Um, you know, a lot of guys, I think, know what to do, uh, but how to do it when the, when it's under the lights, you know, when the when the when the, the bullets are flying. Um, so that's that's the hardest part. You just got to know you got to be composed. You got to have composure. You got to trust your training. Um, and today, I mean, we were out there communicating hand signals, uh, doing everything we can, even if somebody got the call over communicate it. Let them know. Let them know. Don't do it outside of your your zone to where you're going to mess up your responsibility, but just making sure everyone's playing together. Guys feel comfortable out there. Um, that's the main thing because we put all this work in throughout the week, and then when it's game time, you know, sometimes the crowd is too loud. You can't hear, you know, um, especially home games, but now we're going away. And, you know, same thing for our offense now. They're going to kind of have to have that communication just like the defense does. Um, so, I mean, um, I'm taking advantage of every opportunity that I have, and uh, you know we're trying to go get a win. Yeah, just uh, you know, like you know, when it comes down, you know, to it, 
you trust your training, you trust your eyes, you see what you uh, see the formation, what's the defensive call, and you know you're not out there alone. You know, there's 11 guys with you, you know, trying to execute the same goal that you want to, um, and that's where the hand signals come in at. You know, if, if someone's uncertain, I mean, out of the 11 guys on the field, there's probably one guy out there that, you know, probably doesn't know what he's doing at one point. And that's where your hand signals, you know, you come in. That's why, like, we're our brother's keeper, you know, make sure if you don't know what you're doing, I got you. Hand signal. Nah, I'm, I, I can't do that. I, I don't want to put that in the video. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm trying to steal our hand signals. Yeah, making sure that you're looking at the guys, you know, like, you know, if there's two safeties out there, you know, make sure you look at them every play. Make sure you guys are on the same page, you know. Um, but other than that, um, you know, even with the linebackers, I mean, the linebackers and the, and the secondary have a, you know, they they complement each other with coverage with coverages too. So you know, they have to also know that we're on the same page as them. You talked previously. With, you, know, you came here. You were in the rotation with, with a couple of great safeties in Buffalo. How much did, did playing in a rotation kind of set you up for the role that you you had going forward here with rotating with Tracy and Will? Um, you know, just knowing knowing that I you know I had great leaders ahead of me. Uh, in my in my career, you know, I've I picked up little nuggets, you know, from from them, and um, you know, I feel like I can bring that to to Detroit here, and um, you know, the fact that I'm getting the opportunity to now, you know, rotate and you know, get, and utilize my skill set in every way, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I expect it, you know, that like, that's just my mindset, that's why I'm here, um, you know, I belong in this league, I'm here for a reason, um, and I'm just going to continue to utilize, you know, all my skill sets and uh, you know, make plays.